friends. Our first story is going to be Giraffes Can't Dance. And this was written by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh no, he fell down. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Jungle dance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because it, when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely and he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Oh my goodness. That's not very nice at all, is it? Let's keep reading and see what happens. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted on the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. There he goes walking off while everyone else is dancing. Very sad. Do you think that these animals were being bucket fillers? Maybe you could pause right now and ask yourself, what would you have done if you were here and you saw that Gerald couldn't dance and was feeling sad? Then he found a little clearing. He looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful. He whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <clears throat> coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Is the cricket being a bucket filler? Yes, he is. He's going to help Gerald. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. What is Gerald doing? He's dancing. 
He threw his arms up sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Wow. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Oh, he looks so happy. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. Entranced means they're staring at him because he's doing a really good job. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Now I have some comprehension questions for you, just like when we read a story at school. So, the first question I have is, what is the setting? And remember, setting is where the story takes place, where the story happened. So take a minute. You can either talk about it or you can write it down. You can leave your answer in the comments below. What is the setting? of our story, Giraffes Can't Dance. Hmm. Did you say the jungle? If you did, you got it right. The setting is the jungle. That is where the story happened. Very good. The next thing we're going to talk about is who were the characters? Remember, we talk about this all the time in class. The characters are who the story was about, who was in the story. Usually it's an animal or a person or something that's talking or moving. So take a minute, think about it, we're gonna reference the book. Remember, referencing the book means we're gonna take the book, we're gonna go back through, and we're gonna see if we can remember some of the characters. Oh, I see a character right here on the front. Hmm. Does anyone remember what this character's name was? Oh, guess what? You're at home, and there's no one around you, so you can shout answers out. Isn't that exciting? So what was the name of this character? Do you remember? It was Gerald and he was the main character. That means he was in the book the most and the story was about him. So if we open it up, we go through, there's Gerald, the main character. There are a lot of characters in this book. Here you see all the other animals. We can go through and we can name them all. Those are the characters in the story, like zebras, alligators, looks like we have warthogs, lions, some sort of buffalo, snakes. You can take the time if you want to pause, go through and look at all the characters. Very good, let's keep going. There's more characters, more animals, more characters again, oh, Gerald. And I know when we get to one of these characters, here it is. 
This is an important character here. This is the cricket, right? The cricket is a very important character because he's the one who helps Gerald. Okay, and on this page, we see the last of the characters, the little bugs that are watching the cricket. Lots of characters in this story. So let's sum up really quick. Okay, in our story, the characters are the giraffe, and we know his name is Gerald. Okay, all the animals that were at the dance. Mm hmm those were part of the characters. The cricket, an important, helpful character, and the bugs that were watching the cricket. Very good. The next question I have for you is, what is the problem in this story? There is a big problem. Pause the video, take a minute to think, and I want you to either talk about it, the problem is, or write about it. The problem is, you can add it in the comments if you want, or you can just talk about it with your parents. You can talk about it with your brothers and sisters, whoever watched this video with you, okay? You can talk about it with yourself if you want to. It's really good to remember to talk and use those language skills that we've been working on, okay? So pause right now, brainstorm. What was the problem? The problem was that the giraffe, Gerald, he can't dance. That is a big problem. And because he has this problem, he feels sad. Remember, he walks away. He feels sad. Again, the problem is the giraffe can't dance. So, of course, my next question is going to be, what is the solution to the problem? How is the problem solved? Hmm. How does the problem get better? How does it get fixed? So, the problem is, Gerald the giraffe, he can't dance, can he? Mm -mm. This makes him feel really sad. So take a thinking moment. I'm gonna bring our book back so we can reference, okay? Our problem, Gerald can't dance. He feels really sad. Let's go through our book and see what the solution is. I think it might happen on this page when he meets his new friend, the cricket. Pause the video now, talk about it, write about it. The problem was fixed when blah, 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 blah. Or write, 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 write. You can put your solution in the comments. That's a good place for it to go to. Okay, pause now. We're gonna find out the answer. Just a minute. Okay, here we go. What is the solution to the problem? The solution is the cricket helped him learn how to dance. Was the cricket very kind? Yes. Did he say, oh, I'll help you? Yes, he did. He said, just listen, Gerald, listen all around. Maybe they weren't playing the music that was best for you. So, listen to nature. Listen to the music that's going on around you. And then just dance how you feel best. And then, because the cricket helped him learn how to dance, Gerald was happy at the end. And he was excited. Remember, we're always talking about how we can explain things using different words, not always he is happy. 
we say, Gerald was excited. He learned how to dance. We can say, Gerald felt glad that he learned how to dance. And we saw at the end, instead of Gerald being at the jungle dance, the jungle dance came to Gerald. There they all are. He was dancing so nicely that they all came and they watched him. And finally, they were bucket fillers and they said, wow, good job dancing, Gerald. We are so proud of you. That looks amazing. And that's the end of our story. That's the end of our comprehension questions. I would love it if you would write in the comments your opinion of this book. Remember, opinion means I liked the story. I didn't like the story. The story was exciting. The story was sad. Okay, let me know how you felt about this story and tune in for the next read aloud. Okay? All right, everybody, don't forget, keep reading every day. Keep writing. Even if you're just practicing your ABCs, keep your hands writing. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you real soon. Okay, bye.